Martha Randall collapsed in her cell at Rikers. She's G3P4 with a history of fibroids producing heavy menstrual flow, hypotensive, tachycardic, and febrile, also complaining of numbness in her leg. Can you please tell me where is the numbness? Up and down my right leg. Can you please lift your leg for me? Wait. What's wrong with me? I can't move my leg. I can't move my leg. Dr. Proctor, this is Martha. Martha, I'm an OBGYN. I'm going to get you sorted out, OK? I need to order blood and urine cultures. I think you'll find Steph Aureus. Toxic shock. Martha, have you been using tampons for longer than recommended? I used my last one for nine. Well, I know. We shouldn't cause this much damage. She means nine days. Alert me the moment MRI is ready. Nine days? How did you know? Martha is not my first patient from Rikers with toxic shock. How many more before someone dies? We need to talk about Rikers. Martha Randall is in Rikers for marijuana possession. Now she may not live to see the end of her sentence. It's not just tampons. I have had a dozen patients tell me that pap smears and mammograms have been withheld as punishment, and now they have cancer. So much of this is preventable. One routine visit at Rikers, most of my inmate patients wouldn't even be here. Hey, guys. I got the 911. What's going on? Uh, Rikers. Rikers again? Speech yeah, that place is a mental health catastrophe. My patients go in for a month, they come out with a lifetime of trauma. Yeah, anybody else thinking what I'm thinking? That basic preventative care would cut the rate of illness in half there? That's not what he's thinking. No? Your attention. The New Amsterdam doctors are here to tell you how to do your job. Sorry, th this is it? Um, where do you provide pap smears or procedures that require undressing? Right here. Uh, well, what about mental health? You, you do that here? Everything, right here. But no one is going to ask for care without privacy. This is what's causing your problem. Our problem is a health care budget of about $5 per inmate per day. We had a heroin overdose this morning, and that's half of today's cash gone. It's not even lunchtime yet. We're doing the best we can with what we have. Now, I'm a results guy. If you can improve things, I'll be the first to say thanks. And if you can't, I'll be the first to tell the mayor all about it. Suspected heroin OD from Rikers. Severe pulmonary distress. Did you push Narcan? Two amps, no response. She might be having pulmonary edema. Renal function? Creatinine is 1.8 and rising. What's that mean? Push 60 milligrams IV LASIK, set up an intubation tray and a stat cardiac echo. Now let's get NIV with the And she's in trouble. Martha? Count backwards from five, please. Five, four, three. Very good. I'm going to ask some question, and your answer will let me observe your brain function. Do you have children? Yes. Very good. Now, if you could share a memory, any happy one will do. My son's fourth birthday, we went to this play center. Ball pits, arcades. Man, he loved it. There was this, this room full of trampolines, wall to wall. And Darrell charged in like a lunatic, doing flips, making faces. And his smile was just... Some people at Rikers, if they know you got kids and they want something from you, it's better that they don't come. Did you find what you needed? Martha, it appears you have a merantic embolism. The bacteria from your vaginal infection has traveled to your brain. We need to remove the clot surgically. Father, almost there. Mm. Little father, looking good. And the clot is out. Will you please inform Miss Randall's family? Can't do that. 
They should know Martha's procedure was successful. No can do. It's a security risk to let them know she's out of Rikers at all. She almost died. You don't want her children to know her husband? To offer comfort? Charlie, these folks are here to see you. Hi, uh, I'm Max Goodwin, and this is Helen Sharp. We're doctors, and we're here to help you. Your girlfriend, Desi, said that you were experiencing some problems, uh, so she asked us to come by. How are you feeling? Uh, can you... can you describe your symptoms? Um, are you pulling your hair out, or is it coming out on its own? You mind if I take a look? Is that okay? Just your specific pattern of hair loss, maybe. Don't touch touch me. Watch it, Charlie. We're okay. Sorry. Back up. You back the hell up. Coming in here laughing at me? You laughing at me? Huh? Answer me. Nobody is laughing at you. You don't laugh at me. I laugh at you. Okay. <laughs> Charlie, Desi said. You don't say her name! Get out! Are you okay? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Take five steps back, little man. Just look at me. Focus on my eyes. And don't turn your head. Just stay with me. I don't want to look in your dumbass eyes. Why would I look in you? Because you can't see the walls. Right? How many fingers is she holding up without looking? Can you tell me? You're having peripheral vision problems. It probably started around the same time as your hair loss and your leg weakness, maybe neck pain too. We think you have a brain tumor and it's pressing on your optic nerve and that is what is causing all of this, that's why you feel the way you do. That's why your emotions have been so intense. The behavior that got you in the shoe, it's not your fault. So I, I'm not. I'm not. You're not crazy. You're sick. But we're gonna get you to New Amsterdam and you're gonna get better. Stay back. Oh, yeah. right, tell me what happened. Oh, oh, Go over it, Al. Four injured. We need the medics. She's got three deep plaques. I need two ambulances coordinate multiple lacerations. Get him to New Amsterdam. Hello? Fran? What? I'm Dr. Jessup. What's going on? Where am I? You're in New Amsterdam Hospital. You're here from Rikers. You overdose and it damaged your heart. No, that's, that's not right. I, I, you need to stop. I, 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 I hey, need to get out right. of here. You're okay. You're no, through no, the worst. I, I don't do drugs ever. This is because I turned state's witness. Someone's trying to kill me. It's okay. No. You're safe here. No. Please get me out of here. Get me out of here. Someone's trying to kill me. Please. Please. Can you buzz us in? I can't find my ID. Yeah, 